Welcome back to our Global ITX Solution Gates Playwright Channel on Lecture 7. Before we start this lecture, I highly encourage you to complete previous lecture related with this course. Let's get started and jump on the topics. So today we'll be topic, uh, discuss about very important part. In your company, you will be during your, you know, like the automation, API automation, you will be needing basic auth, which is that you will have already the access token, basic auth access token to generate the token. And that token you'll be using as a bearer access token in your postman so let's go ahead and see an example if you open up a postman let's say you have a token url uh, given by the developers then you are using the basic auth using username and password then you are sending the username and password it will send then it will giving you here on the top basically as a access token right so that access token you will be you will be using in your that bearer access token you will be using in your endpoints. Basically, you will be going to your endpoint and you will be selecting bearer token, and the token will be here as the access token. Now let's go ahead and see what is the implementation for it. Right. So now switch to basic auth as a uh, basic auth username and password. Now take a look. So by creating the access token, you will have a post HTTP methods. Then with the including with the endpoints. Now if you clicked on the curl as a code curl commands on the right hand side, you will be seeing the endpoints with the post and also your headers authorization basics. These two part will go in your configuration file. Configuration file. Please remember. So these two file for the basic auth, it will go inside your configuration file as a content type application, whatever it is, right? You will be seeing on the postman. Then the authorization you will have the basic, uh, which is basic authorization. So you see the basic, and uh, this is the token. This is the authorization, which is exactly I have the same thing: authorization, basic, and the token. And the content type you will have once you're sending the actual endpoint you will have the content type here right now it will generate an access token as i mentioned now the post the the request itself as a post so that post the base url you'll be adding over here then rest of the endpoints you'll be you'll be pasting here on the top so auth service endpoint Right, that the service endpoint you will be adding here. So that's been the base URL you are calling with the post and the service endpoint you are adding here. Then you have the username and password. You see the username and the password. Then it has to be go inside the form as a username, password and the grant type. What would be your grant type? So that the grant type will be you will be adding here then so this is your basic auth you're just generating um, the access token by using the token url so status code response from that response json response you'll be uh, defining as a content is a constant that constant variable so holding the access token basically so now you can declare another variable which is called an access token then assigning to a content value that access token will be using in our actual endpoint which is a post so this is our post and this is our url which, which is actual endpoints um, we have defined on the top this is the actual endpoints this both on that we will be using headers content type will you will have application json then the authorizations you will have as a bearer token so you'll be selecting bearer token and the token so that's mean we are selecting the authorization bearer and the access token which is we define declare the variable of the contents then access token you pass it then you'll be adding your payload of your post request the payload I defined it in a 
json file um, and calling the uh, json file on the top right like as an inheritance calling the json file and a, uh, I'm, I'm adding the json file inside that body as a code optimizations part of it then expect okay then status code you are validating the status code also which is will be as a bad request uh, for now for me so you will be adding your bad request uh, status code here so this is basically nothing this is you manipulating the data from the data file this is all about it this is um i think it will be helpful for you um as, uh, going through with the basic auth uh, access token bearer access token it's really tough i spent around like three days to come up with the solutions so um good luck for you and for the previous session um so we created um and the deleted users i just separated the test cases as you see over here the create um, users delete users and the post create users delete users get user list right so now the last part which is a test with auth spec so this is i'm not going to be executing it this is just an example i'm giving you so basically i'm going to be skipping dot skip so this is how the way you are skipping your test test dot skip right now inside the config file also so this is the actual base url we are used to working right now i'm going to be rest of the code for the authorization i'm going to be comment here let's comment out then so as the post curl auth this is the post curl auth are basically i define on the top this is nothing other than right so this is i skipped it i commented for the auth because uh, this is going to be i'm going to be generating a report on the next lecture and deploy to the github uh, actions as a ci cd policy now let's run it uh, let's see it is the rest of the code it's working on now npm run test should be up and running also i, I made some modifications I'll, I'll show it to you right now uh, on the get user list endpoints you see over here there is no hard code i put the base url so this base url came from the, from the config uh, this is the base url we are defining right so base url coming here directly uh, let's go with the one by one base url coming here and also the resource endpoint i declared on the top because this is you know like as a uh, individual unique for the each test case that's why for each test case here I'm, I'm, I'm adding on the test case basis so same thing for this one you will be seeing base url resource endpoint yes same thing for here base url resource endpoint yep. so all of the test cases are passed um hope it is helpful for you um thank you so much for watching um stay tuned for upcoming lecture for the rest of the course